hi subscribers welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you on how to check a slope elevation of a data you know this particular data now was obtained on site we have the design elevations this is the design elevation and this is the existing elevation <music> Now, what we simply want to do is to check the slope elevation of the height that we have for the existing elevations and the design elevation. You can definitely get this done with your Excel. You can check the slope elevations with your Excel. All you simply need to do is to bring in your elevations data, that is the height data, and you insert it into the Excel environment. Then, after you are done, which you already have here. The next thing for us to do is to come to this place that says insert. Alright, as soon as you click on insert, you have to select what you want to check the slope elevation. And what what we are working with the design elevations and the existing elevation, like I've I've said earlier on. Now I'm going to select these two data, the existing and the design elevations. Alright, so after selecting it, all I've simply needs to do is to locate my chart. Now we have here chart. We are, you can see we have several type of charts, but all the one I'm going to be making use of is this particular one. This one that say insert line or area chart. Then I'll click on the drop down arrow. So as soon as I click on that, I'm going to come to this place here. This particular one is where I'm going to be using, and I'll click on it. Now we already have the what we already have the chart on the screen. By the time you select this particular slope is going to let you know that okay this this one that you are selecting this slope that you are selecting belongs to the so 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 data which is the what existing elevations that was obtained on site now if i should change it to this blue now you can see now it has changed the it has highlight the what the design elevations of the drainage now with these two data now you will be able to have an insight of how the slope looks like if there's going to be any changes towards the way you want to design now like you can see we have 23 23 values for the for both both the existing and the design and by the time you check each point is up to 23 that is each values here is representing each data now you can do any changes you can carry out any changes on this particular slope elevations by what by selecting any of it now whatever things you want to change whatever things you change on this place here is going to reflect on what you have as the slope elevations now you looking at this particular data the ele existing elevations let me quickly select and change it to another color so that it's going to be clear for us to see then and this also let me change it to another color now it's bold enough for us to see now anything that you are carrying out with this particular data now like you can see the existing elevations on the screen you can watch looking at this existing elevation if per adventure you want to do any changes by the time i look at this point one two three four five when i come to this place one two three four five okay this particular point now i am not satisfied with the way the slope looks like i want to edit or you want to carry on editing with your slope elevations you can definitely highlight the you can edit the values of what you are supplying in so let me change this to 54.0 54.0 and let's see what we're going to have you're going to see that it's going to have a changes there is a little a slight changes 54.5 54.5 you're going to see there will be slight changes from that point you can see now if i change it to a bigger value now 54.10 and it's going to be bold enough for you to see the changes on the screen 
I believe you can see the way I'm editing it is going to give you changes. Now with this particular existing elevation we and the new design elevation, I believe you've been able to know how to have a a slight view of a slope elevation. But adventure your size and you want to see the slope of a drainage, how the slope looks like you've obtained the data and you want to do comparison or you you are done with whatever you've designed on the ground so you want to just do confirmation check you can definitely always utilize your what your excel to check the slope elevations and that is how to use your microsoft excel to check slope elevations and if you found this video helpful do want to subscribe to my channel like my videos comment and share thank you